I'm Sean Delaney with Delaney and T Clocks, and today we're featuring a fantastic Stephen Tabor Roxbury, Massachusetts tall case clock, made circa 1798. Stephen Tabor is a really well-known maker, one of my favorite makers. He had an older brother, L. Nathan Tabor, that was a clockmaker as well. L. Nathan apprenticed with Simon Willard, and Stephen Tabor apprenticed with Aaron Willard. And then he moved to New Bedford and continued to make clocks right around 1799. Stephen Tabor is really well known. He made most of his fortune, not in clock making, but in whaling and in shipping, in the shipping industry. This case is as good as it gets. It's really fabulous. Has these OG bracket feet with a double step molding, great line inlay, beautiful quarter fans, and then all repeated in the door. And just beautiful figure in the door. It's flanked by these quarter columns that are fluted, brass stop fluted. And there's a great bonnet with a pierced and open fretwork, the three brass ball and spike finials. I love these Corinthian capitals at the top of these fluted, fully turned bonnet columns. It's a beautiful moon phase dial. That gives you the phases of the moon. The signature of S. Tabor. This clock has a beautiful strike to it. Strikes on a bell, strikes the hour on the hour. This is a very manageable size. It stands only seven feet, six inches tall. If you like beautiful antique clocks, please visit DelaneyAntiqueClocks.com. Thanks for watching.